All teenagers are delinquent. Josh are stupid. All girlies are crappy snobs. If they are in drama, they must be bisexual. <laughs> All freshmen suck. These quotes that you heard were just a few common stereotypes people at the school were willing to fess up to. We all do it. We make stereotypes about people day after day. As you walk down the hall looking at people pass you by, you start to make judgments. These judgments are based on past experiences, family and friends, education, and personal beliefs. You see men and women, blacks, whites, and Asians. You see the young, the old, the thin, and the overweight. You see the well-groomed and the well less groomed the athletic and the clumsy. And you make judgments, conscious or unconscious, based on these first impressions. These judgments are also known as stereotypes. A stereotype is holding a fixed notion of a person, a group, or an idea. It allows for no individuality, and it generalizes a person by imposing artificial limitations on groups and individuals. The problem with stereotypes is not that we hold them, but that we act on them. We let stereotypes get in the way um, of ourselves, and we let them get the best of us. If we see that some members believe one way, we we start to believe that all members of a group believe in that same way. Um, in an interview with Nesep E. Lowenthal, an expert on diversity studies, stereotype um, she compared to heuristics. A heuristic is a device that allows a processor to use knowledge previously observed, like on your computer. A stereotype allows us to do less search on our minds when we're evaluating people. It's just an easy way out for us. Instead of getting to know the person, we choose to stereotype them. Um, some types of stereotypes are religious beliefs in the battle of sexes. Imagine that your lawyer, your doctor, your priest, your rabbi or minister, your senator or representative, your mayor, the president of your institution, most of its trustees, almost all the teachers, and most of your peers are all women. How would you feel? Well, most of these positions are ran by men today. Another, another problem that we stereotype is on races, outside appearance, age, how often have you been taken not seriously because of your age? Um, and groups in society, such as jocks, druggies, and the nerds. We need to lighten up a little bit. Stereotyping affects our communication negatively. We see what we think and not what really is. We surround ourselves with people we've grown up with and people similar to ourselves. We use stereotypes because we're too lazy to get to know the person for who they really are. We need to question ourselves. Think to yourself, is this the truth or is this just what we think? Be open-minded. Listen and get to know others. Don't publicly disrespect people with stereotypes. Think before you speak and tell others with kindness. It can hurt. Without stereotypes, everyone could be themselves. There would be no cliques or hate across groups just because of one person. And with stereotypes, we all know it sucks. <laughs> Help break stereotyping by changing the views within ourselves we can pass them on to the next generation. Try it today. It's up to each one of us. If we want to make a difference, we can. To do the right thing and think before you stereotype someone you don't think that they're not.